Okay, so I'm going to walk you guys through the homework for tonight. And first step will be to open up our document. And you're going to go want to go ahead and just create a copy of this. Uh, you're not going to have access to it. So just file, right? make a copy. You can title it with your name, assignment two, and then press OK. So now we have the copy of this, and we're going to be using Onshape to make uh, two files and answer some questions. And I'm going to actually do number one with you guys. Um, so if you just follow along, you'll have pretty much all the answers to number one. Um, number two, you're going to have to do on your own. And if you want to build number three, it's a little bit of extra credit. One thing to watch out for on number three is that the grid spacing is in centimeters. So you're going to need to change the units. And then this here is kind of slanted. Um, so you might need to use the, the loft tool um, because it's basically slanted um, just differently. So what I do is I kind of make this, uh, there's a triangle in the back that you can look at, right? So you can count this triangle in the back. And then in the front, if you're going right here, there's a triangle in the front. If you sketch on the front side of triangle and you sketch on the back side of triangle, you can use the loft tool um, to remove that. So the first step would be to make that box, but that one's extra credit. Um, so you don't have to do it if it looks too scary. So we're going to be working on this one, number one. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this kind of L shape. And remember, we're counting by 0.25 inches. Just going up, it's 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, 1.25. Or you can also count, and I'll show us how to do that, and you can just multiply. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 going up. Um, so we're going to hop over to OnSpace. Um, if you're already logged in, you're going to go to create document. If you're not logged in, just pause the video and get logged in so you can follow along. Um, and I'm just going to title this aluminum object one, maybe for assignment two, like a two aluminum object one, press okay. And in this case, we don't need to change the units because they're in inches, but just double checking them. If you click these three little bars, Workspace units, we're in inches, we're good. Um, unit is pound, we're good because we're, we're working with that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start a sketch. By the way, um, right, we have extrude, right here is revolve, sweep, and that's loft. Um, the loft tool is a little bit different. That's what you use for the extra credit. But the loft tool basically connects two different sketches. So, um, that's what you'll you'll use for if you're doing the extra credit. You'll make a triangle in the front, a triangle in the back, and you'll loft cut them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with our front sketch. And remember an odd shape, we just have to kind of adjust our view with the cube. And so we had um, basically that big L shape and going up, then over, down, over and down. We'll figure out the spacing later. And so now we're going to dimension it. And remember I said it had a height of five. Um, you can type in five times with the asterisk symbol, like shift eight, point 0.25, and it'll count for you <laughs> 1.25. Um, then looking at this, it comes over two, so that's 0.50. You could have also done two times 0.50. I'm just gonna type in 0.50. Next, it went down by three. So down three will be 0.75. Then it went over by five more. So that's 1.25 again, or you could do five times 0.25. And lastly, this was down uh, by two, so 0.5. I think actually it already know that. See how it gave us an error? So it already knew that. Um, and it looks like everything has turned turned black for us, right? Um, yeah. So we're fully defined. We don't need anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this because it, it didn't like that. So we're fully defined now. And um, that means we can finish our sketch. 
And then again, in on shape, it doesn't go back to our isometric. So we're just going to click that top corner. Um, you know, so on here, um, click isometric, it, it rotates it a little bit differently, but that's okay. So we'll go to extrude and we're going to click on our shape and extruding it back. We'll count one, two, three, four, five squares back. Um, you can switch if you want it to be going backwards or forwards. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, and then our depth was five. So either five times 0.25, or you can type in 1.25. Um, and so then we'll hit the check and we've got this shape. Okay. Next we want to do these cutouts. So there's a cutout, um, here on this right part of it and a cutout on the top part of it. I'm going to start with this right cutout. You can either sketch it from the right side or from the top side, but we need to kind of cut that out. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this um, from the top side. And since I'm sketching on the top and my sketch two is there, I want to use the top. So I'm going to click on a rectangle and make sure that it highlights from the right area. And then we're going to dimension this. It was three cubes wide. So that's 0.75. And this guy had a height of one cube, so 0.25. And it's still blue. The reason it's still blue, if you guys remember from class, I was, would always say that we want to do size and location. So if we drag one of those corners, we can still go up and down because we haven't defined dimension the location. We did do the size, but we didn't do the location. So the bottom to this bottom is 0.50. And then now everything turned black. We'll finish our sketch. We want to go back to that top corner, but this case, since we're on the top, the top corner is actually this bottom, right? And then if you get lost, right? Like if you had accidentally clicked here and you're like, oh shoot, just if you go back to isometric, it kind of sucks you. So um, we're gonna extrude. Now we want to click just that rectangle. And this time, instead of adding, we want to switch it to removing. So we want to remove it. And then one is going to be okay for now, but underneath blind, you can also change it to through all if you want to. That's just going to go all the way through everything. And so we were on removing. We'll finish our sketch, right? Now we need to do this other, this top section. So we're going to start a sketch. You could start on the top. I'm going to go ahead and start on the right side just to do something different. I'm going to click on our right. I'm going to make a rectangle here. And this rectangle was three boxes wide, so 0.75. It was one box tall, 0.25. And then from the side, it was also one away, right? We need the location. So 0.25 away from the side. And now everything's black, meaning it's defined. We're going to finish our sketch. We can, since I was on the right, we're going to be there. But again, if you get lost, just go to isometric. We're going to hit extrude. We're going to click on that guy. And we want to make sure we're on remove. And again, you could change it to all, but one's going to be okay. So I'm just going to remove it. And now we're finished with the shape. Now we're going to go into answering the questions. So question one says, what is the volume of the part? So to get the volume, you're going to click on your part. And then this bottom right corner, display mass properties. And you should have ended up, if you did this correctly, with a volume of 1.375 inches cubed and a surface area of 10.250. That's how you know you did this correctly. So 1.375. So we'll just type in 1.375. We want to make sure we have our units. Inches cubed. All right, you can use that little caret or you'd say cubic inches. Um, what is the density of aluminum in grams per cubic centimeters? So I'm just going to go ahead and just Google the density of aluminum. And you get 2.7 grams per centimeters cubed. So back here, this is going to be 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed. And this time they want, what is the density in pounds per cubic inch? 
So I'm just going to add density of aluminum in pounds per cubic inch. And this is telling me it's 0 0.098 pounds per cubic inch. Um, okay. Next, they want us to use, or I'm asking you to use the formula density equals mass divided by volume from part, your volume from part A and your density from part C and to then calculate the mass of this object by hand. So what we're going to do is the density was um, 0 0.098 in part C. So it would kind of be like if you were doing it by hand, 0 0.098 is equal to mass, which we don't know, divided by our answer in part A was 1.375. Right, so what we're gonna want to do, um, and let's see if I can actually. I think if I use this, it'll be a little nicer. Yeah, so 0 0.098 equals right mass. You put an x there if you want, divided by 1.375. And any time we're trying to solve in math, if we have a fraction, I like to get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by the denominator. So what you would do here is just multiply both sides, right? Multiply this side by 1.75, 1.375. And then this 0 0.098, same thing. All right, let's get this guy in parentheses times 1.375. And that we're doing that to cancel out the denominator. Right, we're trying to get rid of the denominator. So that'll cancel out. <laughs> and then 1.375 times 0 0.098 is 0 0.13475. Right? Yeah, 0 0.13475. So We can copy that answer. And we're going to go ahead and put that. Um, so now, what is the mass reported by on shape? Okay. Well, to get the mass by on shape right now, it doesn't have a mass. To get the mass in on shape, you have to right click the part and assign it a material, because every material is going to have a different mass, right? Um, if this was made out of like bronze, it would be heavier than if it was made out of, say, like cotton, right, or plastic. So we're going to just go ahead and just type in, start typing in aluminum. And there are different types of aluminum. Um, we're just going to ch check the generic one, like the basic one. And now, once I've set it to aluminum, now, when I re-click this button, now it's telling me that the mass is 0 0.134. And if we hover over it, it gives 0 0.1341226. Um, uh, and so this is in pounds, by the way. So it says, is was your mass in part D different than in part E? Um, I'm going to put slightly different. And why do we think they're different? Probably because we rounded, right? Um, so when did we round? We didn't really round, but we rounded when we got this density. So this density, um, 0 0.098, that's a rounded version. This density really goes on. It has a lot more decimals. So maybe we used a rounded density and on shape gave the exact <laughs> or use the exact density. Um, for the most part, right, we have the same answer, 0 0.134, 0 0.134. But if you really, really needed to be completely accurate, the on shape one's a little bit better.
Okay, and then the last step is going to be to use just take a screenshot and put it in here. Um, I do want this mask properties to be showing and I want your name to be showing. So if you hit Windows, hold down Windows Shift S, it'll jump into the screenshot if you're on a PC. Otherwise, um, Macs have a different way of doing a screenshot. Chromebooks have a different way of doing a screenshot. But however you do it, you can also install like a Chrome extension um, that'll do it for you. Um, but I want to have at least that much of it. Um, if you want to get more of it, great. Um, but then we're going to come back here and just right click it and paste it. Um, or control V if you need to. And now we're done with part one. Okay. Um, part two, you guys are going to do on your own. It's basically the same thing, but now we're using brass. And then part three, if you want to do it, like I said, it's extra credit. Um, if you're going to try to do part three, like I said, I would make this as a block, right? And then just kind of, if you look, you kind of cut out a triangle on the front. So what you're going to do is you're going to just start a sketch on the front and make it a triangle. Don't extrude. Do not extrude. Just sketch that triangle. Um, you're going to want it one away from the left, one away from the right, one from the bottom will actually make it uh, pretty perfect for you. Then on the back side, you're going to make a triangle, right? This time it's two away from the left, two away from the right, and it looks like it's up one, two, so it's two from the top, okay? Or three from the bottom if you wanted to do that. Once you have those two triangles, in Onshape, you're going to use that loft tool, like I said, and this loft tool allows you to pick both sketches. So you pick both sketches and you're gonna wanna remove it, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it, uh, good luck. And then we will also be having a Zoom session tomorrow morning. Um, so tomorrow morning at 9.45, I posted the info for that. Um, I know we were supposed to have one last week. Uh, things got kind of crazy with, there were like a bunch of teacher meetings and I thought I had posted that we were gonna reschedule it, but I guess uh, some of you guys didn't get that message. So we will be having a Zoom session tomorrow um, that I want all of you guys to be there for. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me um, and or even just post on the Google Classroom if you get stuck on this and you need help. Otherwise, um, I want you to try to complete this today, it's Tuesday try to complete this today and turn in no long, no later than Wednesday if you can. Um, if you turn in late, I'll understand, but just kind of let me know. Hey, Mr. Ewart, I got a little bit behind. I'm turning this in late.